review we're looking at two models in the colours of the German crane hire company Treffler. WSI model 01-1552 is a 6x4 MAN tractor and it's coupled with a 6 axle Goldhofer ballast trailer. It comes in the usual WSI packaging for a truck model and you've got the MAN, the trailer and a bag of deck posts. WSI model 01-1548 is a Tadano ATF 400G6 mobile crane. All the parts are nicely packed in a large tray and there's also a good instruction manual. It starts with a full parts list and there's a helpful series of photos showing you how to configure the crane for transport or in its various modes. For the assembly we'll put both models together into a road going configuration. For the tractor and trailer it's clunk click and that does the trick. For the crane there's more to do so let's see how we get through. We'll start by adding on the power system and for that we'll need to use some wisdom. You place it on top and then insert some pins and you need to push them in using your fingers and things. The main piston gets attached by using a small screw. And before adding it in it's best to line up the holes to make sure they're not askew. For this it's best to use a pointed tool. And once everything's lined up you feel really cool. With the screw put in a screwdriver will make it tight. And you'll need to give it quite a few turns to make sure it's right. Once we've achieved that we can set about testing the ram. As you can see as we push it down it reaches the boom without a slam. The next job to do is to use nuts and bolts to attach the pendants at the rear. And because the nuts and bolts are small tightening them up brings a cheer. After fixing the power system we go to the winch drum to pull off some rope. And at the front we can attach a hook to give us some scope. Lastly at the back we get some parts and make them fit. And if they don't we'll shout out quit. Starting under the MAN the chassis is typically detailed as you would expect from WSI. The cab looks very good in the colours of Treffler and there's a realistic number plate. Behind the cab there are nice wheel arches and the lights have plastic lenses. The Goldhofer trailer has got very nice detailing of the axles underneath and there are big fat tyres on the wheels. And the deck is nicely formed with replica timbers and there are graphics along the edge. Moving to the crane and it also has a very detailed chassis. And it has modelling of all of the transmission and suspension parts. The tyres are very good with the Michelin name in the sidewalls. And the driving cab also looks very convincing. Behind the cab there's some really good quality mesh detailing. And that high standard continues on the crane where the graphics are also very sharp. There's some nice detailing on the boom including a metal ram and a nice big spooling drum. The metal outriggers are nicely detailed and spreader plates are included with the model. And the counterweight blocks are nicely formed as is the luffing gear which is already reeved. There are metal pulleys throughout the model and there are Treffler graphics on every telescopic section. And lastly the power system is modelled in metal including the pendants. The MAN tractor rolls along quite nicely. And this MAN model has a better than average range of steering for a WSI model. The wheels do foul on the wheel arches at the outer reaches. But you can certainly pose the model in a realistic way. The other feature on the tractor is the tilting cab. And it works well because the cab stays tilted. And the engine is well detailed with MAN Common Rail written on it. From the tractor we move to the trailer and this one certainly rolls extremely smoothly. 
And a feature of a multi-axle trailer like this is the steering. And that works very well on the model because it's smooth and nicely proportional with the rear axles turning the most. If we turn the trailer over we can see that the steering works on the rear four axles. And another nice feature of the model engineering is the fully working suspension. Another feature is that you can clip the front two axles up and out of service so that you minimise tyre wear. Although on the model the range of lift is quite small. The other working feature on the trailer are the two landing legs and they can be unscrewed revealing smooth pistons. An option for display purposes is to add deck posts, but you might have to fiddle a bit to get them to line up straight. Of course this model looks great when it's loaded up with parts from a crane in the same colour scheme. And with that we'll move on to the main features of the Tadano crane. The axles do have linked steering although that does limit some of the modes that you can reproduce. And once the crane is on site we can set it up by pulling out the outrigger beams which are two stage. The pads have got nice little transport locks. And once they're unlocked you can unscrew the pads to lower them. And then there are spreader plates that you can put the pads on. The next operation is to convert the handrails to operating mode. And then we can get on with setting the crane up by firstly lowering the hook. And detaching it from the transport position at the front. Then the giant hand lifts the boom up, which is something it's often done in the past. The metal ram is very good because it locks in position with a small screw. And the winch drum can be operated by using a special key. The winch drum has a brake, although it operates the opposite way to what you would expect. But at least it can hold a reasonable load. The crane rotates, but with just a few sticky patches on the review model. Then if we bring up the Goldhofer trailer we get some realistic looking erection poses. Lifting straps are included with the model that enable you to lift the counterweight blocks. Although the main counterweight assembly is made up of a few parts and can't be disassembled. Three hooks are supplied with the model and on the trailer you can see the largest one. And it also has working safety catches. Finally the boom telescopes smoothly and it has three locking positions for each section. And the power system is good too and can be set to a nice tension. Although Treffler uses Notaboom trailers, this model from WSI is good. It's nicely detailed and engineered. And of course it goes very well with the big Tadano in the same colour scheme, so it's highly recommended. The Tadano is also a very nice looking model in the Treffler colour scheme. And it's also of a high standard in terms of detailing and functionality. Overall as a large crane it's good enough to be rated outstanding. Music